All right, short June update for the spice and herb garden. Got a small park of herbs here, and they seem to be doing pretty well. A lot of shade in this garden, so we are getting some thyme that is starting to get bigger, a little bit lush. Have a wall of coriander. Only one coriander plant came up. So I'm trying to germinate more of those indoors and then transplant them out here in a couple of weeks. Catnip. Doing well. Bunch of chili peppers, which are a little bit slow. Again, probably due to limited sunlight in the shadowed garden, but they are producing flowers now. So slowly but surely they will produce. We've got sage there just coming up after only being in the ground a couple of weeks. They're doing well. Lavender, still small, but on the far furrow is coming in. Little lavender plants. They're very slow to grow. Fennel on that far first furrow is really doing well. It's coming in nicely. It tastes like black licorice. Followed by coriander. And all the coriander plants are doing well. Some are even starting to bolt and produce seed. After coriander we have some very nice tarragon. Tarragon is coming up many plants very nicely. Some of them, oh I don't know, maybe 25 centimeters high. And after that some achillea. Achillea is coming up nicely. So, bed two of the herb park, we have a very nice looking avocado. Just all coming in now. These leaves are starting to get bigger and they're starting to get spikes on them. I don't know if you can see little spikes on the leaves. That's a, a new change to the way the plant is expressing leaves. And after the avocado we have some nice nice row of um, basil. Basil is growing up like small bushes now. And several rows of oregano on the other side of the basil here. And the oregano is doing much better than I thought it would do in the shade. And there's three plants from seeds I collected in Denmark. Growing a, a shrub in my neighbor, my friend's um, back garden. I took a couple of seed pods. Luckily three germinated here and now I'll have shrubs. Uh, the same as my friend has in Denmark. They grow a nice three-part pinne leaf. Small teardrop shaped. I'm going to enjoy these. Alright, and very quickly trying to move make such a long video here. This bed we've got dill coming up very nicely in the first row. These dill plants I used to so far have been pickling cucumbers with the dill making kosher dill pickles. Man they are good. And after that we have a row of nine or so rosemary. Rosemary I think doing better than I thought it would in a shady spot, but still growing. And quite a few, 104 chamomile plants. Slow to grow, but they are growing. And they're starting to flower. So chamomile tea this week, for the first time. And tamarind. The three tamarind plants are really doing well. They're on their ninth course of starter branches. Uh, this plant could get 5 to 7 meters, uh, 15 to uh, 25 feet high. This is a tree, also a legum leguminaceae, legum genus, believe it or not. And this bed, we've got a nice row of speckled butter bean growing around the curve, followed by peanuts. Got loads of peanuts coming up. A row of second crop sunflower. 
I've already got a few cups of sunflower from the first crop. Beyond that is alternating watermelon and cantaloupe melon to see if the spot that gets a little more sun will produce better melon for me. Some radishes and a whole row of corn after that. Not corn, sorry. What I say called carrot. Carrot plants are still small, but they are coming in. Carrot is slow. I've learned this year that roots and fruits need sun and I'm not giving my plants a lot of sun on my first few beds here, but even still, got some turnip greens I can eat there. I'll wait till they make nice turnips, followed by broccoli coming up nicely in this row and Swiss chard all coming up. Here we've got, <clears throat> believe it or not, in there is a bed of onion plants. They're hard to see, but right now they're still small and slender. Little onion shoots coming up. So I'll have my own onions. And beyond that is parsnip. Finally, the parsnip plants are coming up. They're very slow to germinate, but I have parsnip two rows, about 30 parsnip plants. And here, uh, in this side, is radicchio. I just planted those last week. The radicchio look nice. And that's all coming up. Oh. Mostly herbs in this little herb park, but some other interesting plants. I, out of the five beds I have in there, I had room to put all the herbs I wanted and dabble with some other interesting vegetables. Oh. That's it for now.